How's it going, YouTube? It's been about a week or so since I posted anything, so it looks like I'm back at it. And check it out. I've been out doing some shopping, and I went to a car auction, and check this out. A 2008 Ford Fusion. Got this beautiful thing for $800. The only issue with it, it's got a little bit of a transmission hiccup. hiccup. Uh, I am pretty much think I know what's wrong with it. Uh, but here's a nice look at it. Look at the front end of this thing. Some good deals out there if you know how to get them. Got a nice looking front end, got the fog lights. I apologize for the traffic. Uh, I had to pull off here before it got dark. I wanted to film it before I take it off the trailer. Give you a look at the inside. Starts right up. A little dirty, I gotta clean it out, but perfect seats, interior. Ford Fusion. Yeah, can't beat that. We'll get it off the trailer here in a little bit and start it up. But the seats are like brand new still in it. Whoever had it took good care of it. And it's got the uh, power windows and door locks. Good body. Perfect paint. Got brand new tires on the front. Check that out. Let's see if I can find me some new tires for it. Here's a look at the back of it. It's supposed to turn really cold and start snowing tonight. So uh, perfect timing to get this in. There's the back of it. It's a really good looking car. Not sure what I'm going to do with it. I might actually keep it. I don't know. But um, got a little bit of surface rust there, but nothing to worry about. There's the inside back here in the back seat. Just got to clean it out. And they wanted a thousand. Car runs great. I think it's got 140,000 on it, something like that. Got the power seats up front. Let me get up in here. Let's look at the dash. And like I said, we'll put the battery on here in a little bit and start it up. And uh, as of right now, everything seems to work pretty good. I don't see anything major wrong with it. Of course, that's always another story once you start working on them. But I did have it running today. Couldn't hear any weird noises or anything. It actually drives. Sometimes the transmission will kind of jerk a little bit. Uh, the guy said probably needs transmission fluid change. We'll go that route first. But... Uh, just a good looking car probably one of the better deals i've gotten so far this is actually just a uh they, they made ford um the fords uh let's see it was uh actually the ford tauruses then they made this model here uh basically it's just a fancy ford taurus uh they named it the fusion and uh this is a 2008 i believe i already said that and uh other than that i'll get out of here we'll go home and uh get it off the trailer and look at it but what a good looking car so uh it's gonna be interesting to see what i can find and i believe the sticker there will say yeah it looks like an 08 so uh just a quick little video there people get out there and hunt craigslist go to dealers uh these car lots they often have fixer up or setting in the corner they don't want to deal with you can get some really good deals this is how i found this thing here so give you another look at it real quick head home before it starts snowing get good brakes undercarriage is in pretty good shape not bad at all really considering some of the other vehicles I've owned and I believe this is from Pennsylvania and there's a look at it on this side beautiful looking car Okay, so uh, we'll get it home. Let's take it off the trailer and start it up and give you another look at it. All right. Um, got the battery on it. Now, this one here is supposed to take a low-profile battery, meaning they're only about so high because you don't want to hit the hood. But this is all I have right now. It's uh, pretty close, but uh, parking lights are on, so let's go ahead and start this up. Lights are on. There's the key. Got two fob keys. Can't beat that. All right. Oh, yeah. Starts right up. Tire pressure low. Typical. I've got a video online about how to do that, how to take care of that. And, uh, boy, I tell you what, it seems it's quiet. Very quiet car. Nice radio, sound system in it, CD player. Once I, once I figure out how to work it, um, 
pretty good shape. Now, all these fusions have a problem right here with the dash is. This likes to kind of bend up a little bit. You can actually put some glue behind there to pull that back down where the airbag is. And uh, go ahead and look at the engine. And there's a look at the gauge cluster. Got an RPM tachometer. Very nice. Let's go ahead and look at this engine. Sounds quiet. See, this is how you get ahead in life, people. If you're down in the dumps and you say you ain't got a car, you got to start hunting. You'd be surprised what you can find. And check this out. The fog lights even work. Factory fog lights. Oh, yeah. Now, it'll go into gear. I can drive it. Uh, but I'll have to drive it a little bit more and see what's going on. Uh, this is a two... I'm going to have to go see what size this engine is. But I think it's a 2.5. Not sure. And let's see. This is interesting. Got this duct work here that goes all the way back from the front of the radiator behind the fan all the way back down to the alternator and it lets air blow on that alternator. Keeps it cool. I mean, coolant level seems to be pretty good. Oil's a little dirty, but it needs changed. Transmission fluid is not too bad. They hid this dipstick for that. You gotta look for it. It's actually down here. It's a little dirty. I mean, pretty typical. And let's see, we got... Uh, I mean, listen to that engine. It's just purring. No noise whatsoever. Quiet. Check this out. This is how you tell if you have a blowing head gasket. If you take one of these off and you don't feel any pressure here or back pressure, you know you got problems. This one's got a lot of uh, pressure on it there. And also when you're checking the oil, check for moisture. Make sure there's nothing in it. Milky residue. Looks good. But uh, I think I'm going to be happy with it. i keep it for a little while. You'll put it in gear real quick. But see, the, the key here is asking. Asking. They always come down. Power seats. Let me get myself adjusted here. We'll take it around the block. I want to see if the transmission does anything weird on me here. Probably not, but make sure the emergency brake is off. All right, we'll back up a little bit here. Goes right into gear. Go around the block here, real quick. Feels like it's shifted, no problem. All right, there we go. All right, see what we got there. Third shift to the second. So I don't know, I'll do some tinkering on the transmission now. I know to drop these transmissions out, you gotta drop the subframe, which is not too bad. I've done it before. Shift it again, so. I don't know, it's not legal. I don't want to take it out on the highway just yet, but I uh, just wanted to show you that it uh, does pretty good. All the gears are there. There's reverse. No problem there, backing up. And drive. For a second. So I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Now, I know these cars are notorious for valve bodies uh, going bad. The servo in the transmission sometimes wears out. But it's got all the gears, so uh, I'll have to do a little more research on it. So let me uh, know what you guys think. Did I get ripped off here? Would you do this? Would you go out and buy a car like this and uh, put it back on the road? Nice looking car, I think. So... Uh, but we'll see. We'll uh, tinker with it here for a few days. And we'll give you another uh, nice look at the engine real quick.
2008 Ford Fusion. So there you go guys, getting late. I guess this will be the end of the video. Let me know what you think. Do you like this car? I know there'll be some haters out there, but uh, if you have any tips, know anything about these transmissions, let me know. I know quite a bit, but sometimes I miss things. You never know. It's what we're here for. We help each other, right? So, until my next video, my next update, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see how it goes. And I'll give you guys an update a little bit later once I pull it in the garage and start working on it. We'll see if we can get this transmission straightened out and get this beautiful car back on the highway. Thanks for watching. Until then, I'll see you then.